I'm gonna get the holy cow this guy. Holy cow. Hello, this is Sweaty Suzuki. What's up? Yes, I'm here at Tokyo Disneyland. Yay! And I'm with Osha and Tanisha today. I don't feel good. I feel really bad because we are gonna go to Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, I don't wanna go. Ah, okay. Okay, ah, uh, slow, slow. Okay, so you obviously see me enjoying. <laughs> I want to teach you guys how to fully enjoy Tokyo Disneyland. It's all thanks to Osha because she is the Disney master. She taught me everything so I will share you the information. So there are two important keys to enjoying Disney. First one is getting the fast pass. There are popular rides in Tokyo Disneyland such as Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain and Space Mountain. If you try to just line up for the rides, it will take you hours. But if you get a fast pass, it will take you less than 20 minutes. So how to get a fast pass? Very simple. Near the entrance of the rides, there should be a fast pass ticket machine, just like this. And you should have this thing called QR code on your park ticket or your Disney e-ticket. Let it scan and you get the ticket. So on the ticket, it tells you the time range you should arrive. When the time comes, show your fast pass ticket to the staff and you get on the ride faster. The last key to enjoy Disney is how you spend your spare time. Main things to do in Disney are getting on the popular rides, watching the parades or watching the shows. If you get a fast pass for the rides, that means rides, parades and shows will be scheduled and you will have this spare time in between. So here are six fun things you can do to spend your spare time. First one is going to the gift shops. 
You can almost find gift shop everywhere, but the main area is at this place called World Bazaar. It's right at the entrance of Disneyland. The type of gifts changes depending on the theme of the location, so checking those out will be fun. Second one will be taking photos. You can spend time taking photos with the characters or at areas with many photo spots, like front of the Cinderella Castle or Toontown. Toontown is actually really good for photos. So number three, rides or activity with short waiting time. For example, Pirates of Caribbean, Stitch Encounter, Mickey Philham Magic, Western River Railroad. You can actually check the waiting time near the entrance. Number four, watching little shows. There are many little shows that will start out of nowhere. It can be dancing, singing, mini games, etc. The fifth one, trying different snacks and candies. This is actually my favorite part. There are many food wagons inside Disneyland and each wagon sells different food. Popcorn, ice candies, teriyaki chicken, smoked turkey, churros, etc. The popular one is actually the popcorn because there are seven different flavors so trying a couple of them will be pretty fun. So the last one, number six, going to restaurants. Not only you can spend time eating delicious food but you can take a break from a lot of walking. I ate this food at this futuristic restaurant called Plasma Ray's Diner. It looked like it was curry rice but it's not and a fried chicken covered with rice cracker. And um, yeah, it, it was futuristic. Oh yeah, and you should be careful because some restaurant requires online reservation. So that is all. Basically decide what you want to do the most and try to spend the spare time how you like it. Now you can fully enjoy Disneyland like me. I feel like shit. I feel like shit. That's the best way to describe this situation. I feel shit. We are now leaving Disney. Bye bye Disney, thank you. Super fun. Thank you, thank you Osha, thank you Tanika, it was super fun.